wish you all very good day dear friends hope you have already read the remaining the remaining part of the story the never never nest the third chapter the third unit so we are going to continue and the jack and jill the husband and wife who is inviting their guest old jane to their house and showing their hospitality old jane is wondered at the furniture in their house and all other things or the facilities in the house even though they are very poor they have a very big house and she is wondered and she thought the house was on rent but it was their own and old jane is wondered the house is yours she was asking and we stopped with that today we continue from there jill is answering why yes you just pay 10 pounds and it's yours you just pay 10 pounds and it's yours the house is there's if if you pay 10 pounds and old jane is all the more intention she did she doesn't understand anything what is happening here they are very poor and i have given them a 200 pounds check and they are they are living as if they are very very rich old jane is not able to understand what was going on there and jack is explaining now the husband of the house you see old jane We realized how uneconomic it is to go on paying rent year after year when you can buy and enter a home for your own for 10 pounds and a few quarterly payments of course why be mr tenant when you can be mr owner so so jack is explaining how the house is theirs the splash goes this way This uneconomic to pay rent every year, year by year. A huge amount will be there for a big house. So when you can buy and enjoy a home for your own for ten pounds, so they have bought a house for ten pounds. Still the idea is not clear. Then a few quarterly payments. A few quarterly payments. What is the meaning of that? Ah, the meaning is that they have bought the home for installment or. a quarterly payments their payment is not still completed they have to pay regularly until it becomes their own now you are also maybe you also may be aware of installments installment of in payment with uh, when you want to buy uh, mobile fridge tv a perthing may be available by installment you cannot you may not have to pay the whole amount but you pay pay an amount and the remaining will be collected monthly or quarterly or yearly an amount will be collected collected and the interest will be taken by the company and an amount of interest most people in our area are buying vehicles car bike etc by uh, installments only they pay monthly installment so here they have bought their house in installment why be mr tenant when you can be mr owner so that's a good usage of the good western usage why be mr tenant tenant means being the person who is uh, buying uh, buying something for rent or uh, living in a place for rent is called a tenant and why we can be when we can be owners we can own it why should we give rent old jane i see so now old jane is uh, slowly understanding the situation i see yes there is something in that there is something in that so she also likes the idea there is something in that even so you must be getting on very well to keep up a place like this even then even so you must be getting on very well to keep up a place like this so getting on here means uh, here it she denotes the uh, salary or uh, wages he get by from his work so the answer is oh he is on the team so jack's wife is answering Oh, she he is on Jane. Why only last year he had a five shilling rise, didn't you, Jack? So he she is asking to her husband. Last year he had a five shilling rise, not the one five pounds, five shilling rise. Okay. Jack is saying modestly, of course, that was nothing really. I am expecting ten this Christmas. So he is saying, no, five shilling is not much, a, not a big rise. But I am expecting ten shilling rise this during this Christmas, so that is uh, we can call it as 
increment in wages or salary that the increment we get every year from salary or wages so one day suddenly jack i have just thought of something the car is it yours so old jane was looking at the car then the car is it yours jill of course it's ours of course it's ours it is jack and jill's car all yours jane is again doubtful old jane is asking all yours all the whole car is yours well uh, no not exactly all not exactly not the full car is not ours so what is this how much of it how much of the car is yours what jane is asking again jane is saying oh i should say uh, the steering wheel and one of the tires and about two of the cylinders uh, but don't you see that's a wonderful thing about it so he is saying not the whole car the steering wheel uh, two cylinders and one of the tires one of the tires and other payment has not been made up to now the payment is remain installment is to be paid the car is not fully theirs so you know that only with the steering and uh, one of the tires the car will never work and two cylinders so all other parts are of the company or or of the bank now they have to pay money monthly based to the bank what is it i don't see anything wonderful about it so what is it did not even like that she did she didn't like that i don't see wonderful about that because the car is not fully there not fully theirs jill but there is on jane so jill is convincing her jill is the wife is convincing on the jane you see although we could never buy a car outright we can enjoy all the pleasures of motoring for a mere 5 pounds down so even though the we cannot enjoy the full car not fully ours but they have bought it for an installment but we can enjoy the powers of all the pleasures pleasures means all the uh, enjoyment or thrill of riding a car motoring for a mere 5 pounds so the five down payment is 5 pounds okay want to say and the rest by easy installments i suppose and the rest rest by easy installment they have to pay the installment monthly every month they have to pay jill is answering immediately exactly so want to say understood what is going on in their house how is there Uh, how is the uh, how they have become rich well that's the so jack is spreading what is and the piano before giving the explanation what is it is asking again and the piano jill is saying well of course and the piano is also in installment that is also not there on what is it and the furniture i got about the next thing and the furniture i'm afraid so so Jack and Jill is they are fully caught by Aunt Jill, and Aunt Jill has totally understood what is happening in their house. I am afraid so means I am afraid yes that is also installment. Aunt Jill, I suppose all you own is this leg. She points to one. I suppose all you own is this leg. Well, Jill, well no, as matter of fact, it's that one. She points to another. and the rest belongs to mr sage i suppose so uh, even that leg leg here uh, mr sage i suppose even the leg the the of the and this here the leg denotes uh, the chair or the so the furniture she was sitting so in the picture also you the picture also you can see the the chair she is sitting even uh, and about the chair she is uh, answering uh, she is saying well, i suppose i suppose all you own is this leg well no as a matter of fact it's that one she points to another and the rest belongs to mr sage i suppose so 
uh, yes jill is saying so they they are even jai can jill uh, even old jain is uh, telling it for a laughter maybe just, just laughing at them and the rest belongs to mr sage i suppose means the everything every furniture everything in their house is made uh, purchased on uh, installment nothing of the, nothing is their own they have to make installment mandri and they are trying very hard working very hard to uh, make their payments mandri the huge amount mandri payment will be there for them on the jain well i am not going to sit on mr sage's part of in part for anyone she stands up now tell me how much do all this installments come to all all everything in the house is bought for installment now old jain is asking how much do all this um, installments come to how much do all this installments come to total amount how much will be the mandri total amount jai kishan singh well actually he takes out his pocket book and consults it actually to 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence a week 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence a week so here the amount how much it costs mandri is explained by uh, jack by taking a diary taking a pocket book and he is calculating how much is actually to 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence a week 8 pence a week so weekly payment is here, not even mandri okay so what the jain is saying good heavens and how much do you earn so seven you can take it as seven and a half pounds then how much do you earn what the jain is asking jai is saying as a matter of fact uh, that is six pounds so jai is earning six pounds and he is spending 7.8 seven and a half pounds almost approximately what the jain but that's absurd absurd means foolishness that's absurd how can you pay 7 pounds 8 and 8 pence out of out of 6 pounds how can you pay 7.5 out of 6 pounds not 0.5 exactly but 7.8 pounds or take it as 8 pounds when you have income of 6 pounds how can you send 7 pounds that is her question but well, that's easy you see all you have to do is to borrow the rest of the money for the payments from the thrift and prudence trust corporation so the remaining money they borrow from a corporation named thrift and prudence trust corporation they borrow money the remaining money they borrow from a corporation jill they are only too glad to loan you any amount you like on lot of hand loan so they are they are paying loan to them so other than is chairman they have loan also one thing and how do you propose to pay that back how will you one thing is asking how will you pay that loan back you have to pay it back how will you pay it back oh that's easy too you just pay it back in installment that's also pay in installment so this is a family fully dependent on installments and installment purchase installment loan payment and everything in their house is on installment old jail is again saying installments she claps her hand to her forehead claps installment again she is giving uh, her hand on the forehead means she cannot believe it and sinks back weakly into the chair and weakly she is falling back into the chair that realizes that she is sitting on mr sage's piece and lifts to her feet again with a little shriek So after sitting down to the chair again, she is remembering. She is this chair is also someone else's. So she cannot sit. She is standing. She is standing up again. Jack, old Jane, is anything the matter? Would you like to lie down? So by hearing all this, she is almost about. She got giddiness. She is about to fall down. A normal person cannot believe doing such a things. She is calling it a. Uh, an absurd thing a blunder a foolishness she cannot believe it and jack is asking her, do you have any problem are you okay he is asking her want to say lie down do you suppose i am going to trust myself in a bed that belongs to mr sage or mr max or spencer or somebody no i am going home so lie down lie down means i have to lie down on a a bird that is of someone else that but also might have been bought from 
installment only. So she is not believing anything. I am going home. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, must you really go? Do you really want to go now? He is asking. I think better. It should be. It will be better if I go. I, he, she cannot uh, bear hearing these things that this uh, young husband and wife is doing lot of absurd things. I will drive you to the station. I will drive. So Jackie is saying, I will drop you in the station. One thing. What? Travel in a car that has only one tire and two thingamies? No, thank you. I will take the bus. No, thanks. That car is also not yours. I don't want to travel in that car. I will take the bus. What Jane is saying? I will go by bus. Well of, well, of course. Jackie is saying, okay. Well, of course. If you feel like that about it, then okay, we can go by bus. And what the Jane is? What the Jane, what the Jane cannot hang on there. She cannot believe her eyes that these things are happening. They have got everything on installment. And she cannot believe her eyes. She thought of going back to her house. So, uh, she is planning to go back to her house and let me also go back to my house. You can also uh, 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 think about the remaining part. What is going to happen in, uh, in the remaining part of the chapter. And when you see that you read the remaining part and understand the whole story, it is an interesting story.